Have you seen these videos that, that um, a couple of different uh, content creators make where they link up with celebrities and then they catch um, people that are trying to meet up with underage people and they confront them? Have you seen this? I mean, I've been checking those out, John. I'm, I swear I didn't know you were going to ask me that question, John. But I've been checking that out. And even that nut and whack one her didn't even did one. I saw the game did one. I saw uh, 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 my boy YG or I think it was YG did one. Man, I seen a lot of people do that. But I was thinking, I was like, damn, that would have been a perfect thing for sure to be, you know, leading. I was trying to think who else would be good. I mean, white America, people think, you know, I know a lot of LA game members and all that be like, oh, sugar ain't shit, sugar ain't shit. But y'all know that Emma Shield got. Could you imagine a little white geek predator trying to have sex with a little minor and Suge Knight showed up and started going off of it? Could you imagine if he did that? Oh my God, that shit would be, that would be great. Suge would, would kill the internet with that. So I, I want y'all to put in the comment section who y'all think would be great. Who would be that intimidating factor? I know, you know, The Rock is, The Rock to me is the toughest motherfucker around. I just like Ali move, but I know a lot of people won't be intimidated by The Rock because he's so fucking cool, you know? So it gotta be somebody that's just a straight up asshole. And I was trying to think of a, 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 a straight up menace ass. Oh, that motherfucker does a good job, Ben Reem, but I've been mad at him ever since he put on a dress. I hate when motherfucker put on dresses for Hollywood. But when he played uh, in Holiday, the movie Holiday, but, uh, you know, the, I'm talking about the guy that was the boyfriend and baby boy. That nigga, well, he would be great. But somebody like that, an intimidating factor like that. Uh, but y'all put in the comment section who y'all would like. But the funniest one I saw, <laughs> if Suge Knight's story is true, <coughs> what Suge Knight said about Akon, but I'm going to be careful what I say, because that nigga sent a cease and desist letter out real quick to Suge, or threatened to. On TMZ. But I seen Akon did that. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I hope that shit ain't true about you then, Akon and Shug said. And one of my homegirls, she was a hustler. She had a little 20 minutes. She said she'd come back about 35 minutes. When she get back in the room, her little sister and her other little girl don't want to eat. They look scared. They crying. When she get in the car with them, they tell them, Akon, you fucked the little girl 13. Detail fucked the little girl 12 years old. Y'all basically raped her. Because he he did one and was singing a song the whole time. I was like, damn, that's some nerves. He won't let me out. He's about to get locked up. He's about to get locked up. So y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know who I had to laugh when I, when I saw that and I said, ooh, ooh. Wouldn't it be something to corrupt in one of those? <laughs> Peace bumper. <laughs>